Welcome back to Learning Excel. So today our project is we're gonna be doing is called New Era Medical. So let's get started. Alright. So first it says Josh Bartel is the senior director of the Pennsylvania field office for New Era Medical, a global company that manufactures medical equipment. He has created a worksheet summarizing the revenue and expenses for the first three quarters of the year. He asks for your help in determining what the Pennsylvania office needs to do to meet its targeted profit goals in the fourth quarter. Go to the budget summary worksheet, cut the worksheet title from cell I1 and paste it in cell A1 to display the title in the expected location. So we're going to the worksheet just somewhere. Cell I1, so we're gonna cut it. Just command X. We well, have to, if it doesn't work, if you're on Mac, you have to right click, you're gonna click Cut and like, give me a second. You can just unselect it. Okay, there you go. Try again. Right click and cut. Then you're gonna go to it says we're gonna then we're going to paste it in cell A1 right here. Right click again, you click paste. There you go. So that way it'll move all the way to here. Okay, then it says in cell E2, add the number of, add the text number of so that the complete text appears as number of salespeople and cl more clearly identifies the value in cell G2. So, so it's E2, it's right here. We're going to write numbers of in front of salespeople. Remember, type it correctly. So then it says, enter quarter two in cell C4 and quarter three in cell D4. So cell C4 is right here. I'm gonna write quarter two. And over here, we're gonna write D4, we're gonna write quarter three. Right here, so it should look like this. Okay, then it says, in cell G5, enter a formula without a function that subtracts the target revenue. Cell F5 from the year-to-date revenue. Cell E5 to determine how much revenue the field office needs to earn in quarter 4 to reach its targets for the year. So we're going to go to G5. G5, just right here. So we write equal. Then we're going to click E5 minus F5. Which is equal to so get? She got one million eighty-eight thousand six hundred. Okay. Then it says right here. Here's that again. Josh wants to calculate the gross margin for quarters one to three and the year today. Provide this information as below. In cell B7, enter a formula without a function that divides the gross product for the gross profit for quarter 1. Cell B6, by the revenue in quarter 1. Cell B5. So we're going to go to cell B7. B7 is right here. Right equal B6 slash B5. Click enter. To get 12.5. Okay, then it says fill in the range C7 to E7 with the formula in cell B7 to find the gross margin for quarters 2 and 3 for the year to date. So, what we're gonna do is it's a bit basic. So, we see that the formula is equal B6 to divide by B5. We're gonna write equal, then you can do gross profit, which is that. Then you write divided by the revenue so you're gonna repeat the steps for each one but remember it's in the you it's like in the same spot like the same letter okay so okay so once we finish it should look like this 
12.5 make sure you check over to get that okay so then it says right here, right here. And, okay Josh needs to find the sum this to find the sum the sales for each Pennsylvania religion for the year today provide this information as follows in cell E10, enter a formula that uses a sum function to total the regional states, sales data for the northeast region, the range B10 to D10 to calculate the year to date sales. So we can go to E10. E10 is right here. When I equal, then it asks us to do SUN B10 to D10. Excuse me. So S U M You're gonna select B ten to D ten, right? Okay, so we go here B ten in D ten. You click close the parentheses and click enter. And you get six thousand nine hundred I mean six hundred ninety six thousand six hundred eighty seven. Make sure you get that. Then it says use the fill handle to fill in the range E11 to E13. With the formula in cell E10 to find the year to date sales for the other three regions. So you see this little button on the right bottom corner. You're going to drag it down to E4, E13. Which should look like this, as you can see. Okay, then it says, in cell F10, enter the value 9,925,000 9, to provide the targeted annual sales amount for the Northern region. So, F10. F10. So, you can write 925,000. Okay, make sure you type that. Okay, correct. No mistakes. Or else it won't count points. Okay, then it says, Joss wants to determine how much the revenue each religion needs to generate in quarter four to reach its target for the year. Enter this information as follows. In cell G10, enter a formula without using the function that subtracts the target cells for the northern region, northern east region. Cell F10. From the year to date to sale um year to date regions regional sales, cell E10. To find the amount of sales in the northern east region needs to generate to meet its target. So we can go to G10. G10 right here. Great. Equals E10 minus F10. Click enter. What you get? I'm going to double check. It says that. So E10 minus F10. Perfect. So you should get. Two hundred twenty-eight thousand three hundred thirteen. Okay. Then it says copy the formula in cell G ten and then paste it in the range cell G eleven to G fourteen. Pasting the formulas only to find the variance for the other religions and for the total. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to cell G ten. We're gonna right click. And click copy then you go to cell g11 you're gonna have to do this each manually okay so you're gonna right click paste you have to go to paste special okay and click formulas and it should pop up like that you go to the next one right click paste special and formulas repeat it until you get to um g14 i mean g15 you should stop at g15 so keep going so leave the last one blank. So this is how it should look like. You can see here. Okay, then it says, Joss is interested in how much revenue each of the 12 sales people generate on each average in each quarter and for the year to date. Find this information as follows. Edit cell B15 to include a formula without a function that divides the total regional 
regional sales in quarter one, sell B14. Find the numbers of sell people in sell G2. Don't change the reference to sell G2 that is already there. So we're going to go to B15. Right here, B15. B15. So what you're going to do, you're going to... So first, we're going to just... Like... So we're just going to delete this. We're going to put 14. B14 divided by G2, which is 12. Click enter. Oh. Give me a second. So we're going to undo that really quickly. So before we do that, since we know we already see the 12 is already there, basically we're going to go in front of it. We write B14 divided by G12. And then you click enter, which you get 83,625. Okay. Then it says. Fill in the range C15 to E15 with the formula in cell B15 to determine the average revenue per salesperson in quarters 2, 3, and the, for the year to date. So again, we're going to have to do this manually. And then click equals C14. You can do the same steps. So again, divide by D2. Same thing. E, D14, divide by G2 equals e14 divided by g2 enter so this is what it should look like as you can see okay then it says okay josh also needs to calculate the operating margin which is the ratio for of the operating profit or loss to revenue and indicate how much the office makes after paying for the expenses. Calculate the operating margins as follows. In cell B20, enter a formula without using a function that divides the operating profits of loss in quarter 1, cell B19, by the revenue from quarter 1, cell B15. So we're going to go to B20, right, equal... B19 divided by B5, which is the revenue. Click enter. 2.0, right? Then it says right here use the fill handle to fill in the range C20 to E20 with the formula in cell B20 to find the operating margins for the quarter twos and three for the year to end for the year to date. So again, we're going to use the little dot in the corner. The down right corner we drag all the way to e20 and boom so you get 2.0 2.5 2.6 and 2.4 percent then it says joss wants to include a visualization of the total years to date sales separated by the regions insert a chart to provide this visualizations as follows create a 2d pie chart based on the non agendas ranges a9 to A13 and E9 to E13. So we're gonna go to A9, A13, A9, E13, which is right here. E9 to E13. So we're gonna region sales to here, right here. Then we're going to go to insert. We're gonna click right here. You can see a little pie chart right here. Click 2D pies, which is this pop up. Okay, then it says enter total year to date sales by region as the chart tile. So you're gonna double click north and east. We're gonna delete this thing. Then we're gonna type total year to date sales from your total. Remember, you have to type this equally, or else you or you can actually just copy and paste. But we're gonna type it. Is of I mean two date sales two date sales by region by regions. okay 
So it should look like this right now. Oh, make sure we made a little S right here. Just gonna you need to type this exact or you won't get any points. Okay, then it says resize and reposition the chart in its upper left corner in cell I4 in its bottom right corner in cell L18. So we need to drag this, make sure, drag this chart to I4. Move it up here to L18, which is right here. So we need to make sure. So I4, oh, we have to drag a little bit down right here. And we're gonna change this back like this okay i think this is good enough okay now let's check i4 just right here mm -hmm, that's good and 18 just right here make sure i mean it doesn't really matter all it matters is that it's fit inside the box it's not outside but it's inside where is he even getting points again then it says apply style 3 to the chart so on the top over here we have a little bars we can double click it and then the chart design will pop out okay then we're gonna go to style three so to check what styles we have we're gonna hover over it so it should pop out style two and over here style three so this is how style three should look like as you can see then it says hide the grid lines for the budget summary worksheet to make it easier to read so we're gonna go to insert sorry not insert i mean page layout so over here we have grid lines we're gonna unselect the check mark from view and here this is how it should look like and boom it fixes that so thanks for watching and subscribe